Read from Haunted Legends of Arkansas, 13 Historic Sites in the Supernatural State by Blaine Livingston Anderson. Read by Jennifer McAfee. Mount Holly Cemetery, Little Rock, Arkansas. Mount Holly Cemetery is a Victorian gem nestled in downtown Little Rock. Designed as a garden cemetery, its spacious grounds offers generous shade to visitors. It was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1970. By the early 1840s, the Riverport town of Little Rock was flourishing. Its population was growing rapidly. The city fathers determined a new cemetery was critical. Two wealthy local leaders, Roswell Beebe and Senator Chester Ashley, would soon be elected U.S. Senator, donated four square blocks of land just south of the bustling city center, now downtown Little Rock. The cemetery was designed to replicate the then fashionable garden cemeteries originating in Victorian England. These park-like properties occupied serene, beautiful burial grounds, teeming with flowers, fauna, and large leafy trees. The quiet surroundings offered generous shade to the public or families of loved ones interred there, inviting them to come, picnic, and wander the garden-like grounds. Today, Mount Holly's grand ornamental front gates open onto the main avenue, Beebe Avenue, which runs the length of the cemetery. It terminates at a 19th century cast iron fountain created by J.L. Mott Iron Works of New York, which was restored and installed in the cemetery in 2002. Near the fountain, the quaint 19th century bell house bears its original sign, Ring the Bell for the Sexton. Other paths, originally paved as carriage rows, branch off the main avenue. Dedicated and opened in 1843, Mount Holly instantly became the cemetery of choice for wealthy, privileged, and influential Arkansans. Because of the number of notable people and families interred here, the cemetery is sometimes referred to as the Westminster Abbey of Arkansas. Significant Arkansans in the area of medicine, banking, politics, literature, law, art, and religion call Mount Holly their final resting place. Wandering the grounds, one can find monuments honoring 11 governors, 13 state Supreme Court justices, four U.S. senators, four Confederate generals, 21 Little Rock mayors, a U.S. attorney general, the doctor who founded Little Rock's first city hospital, which is now UAMS, and numerous founding fathers of Arkansas, for whom many of the state's counties are named. Mount Holly is truly one of the state's most cherished historic shrines. It was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1970. The earliest birth date recorded on Mount Holly's oldest stones is that of Peter Lefebvre, a Canadian born in 1750. The first interment occurred immediately after the cemetery opened. William Cummins was buried there in April of 1843. Today, Mount Holly is hardly a solitary place. It boasts some of the most spectacular and mysterious funerary art. Cemetery enthusiasts often come to study the ornate mausoleums, imposing obelisks, grandiose monuments, and unique carvings and symbols on the tombstones. Historians, too, flock to the cemetery for obvious reasons. Professional and novice photographers alike are drawn to the cemetery's mystic beauty and the decorative, elaborate tombstones and vaults. And friendly dogs run up and down the avenues, often off their leashes, enthusiastically fetching balls for their masters. Wildlife, too, may be found in abundance in the sanctuary the cemetery provides. Century-old oaks, magnolias, eastern red cedars, a monkey puzzle tree, and a Judas tree house numerous species of birds, squirrels, and owls. Wild rabbits can often be seen hopping quietly and tentatively among the tombstones. On rare occasions, a mysterious cat appears around a mausoleum's corner wall, giving visitors the odd impression that the stealthy feline simply materialized from inside the vault's locked doors. 
By day, Mount Holly is a serene and picturesque oasis in the middle of the bustling downtown business district. I often pop into its peaceful grounds for a quick respite or quiet reflection during an otherwise stressful day. By day, nothing about the Garden Cemetery gives me an uneasy feeling. By day, the cemetery almost invites you to enter its ornate front gates and linger a while in the beauty, history, and serenity of the lush grounds by day. After the sun slides beyond the western horizon and night descends upon the cemetery, the inviting ambience instantly disappears and an entirely different feeling, one of anxiety and apprehension becomes almost pervasive. Why do the resonant birds go quiet? Where are the furry bunnies hiding? Was that a long shadow cast by one of the massive tombstones or something else? Are the spirits of the dead interred there now watching you? Numerous witnesses have reported many accounts of paranormal activity in the cemetery through the decades. Some accounts are more recurrent than others. Visitors to the cemetery through the years have reported seeing figures dressed in period clothing wandering among the gravestones or family burial plots and then suddenly vanishing from sight. Others have claimed that cemetery statues, such as life-size mourners or angels, have actually moved, only to freeze again upon closer inspection. One prevalent paranormal account that has existed through the decades is that of the creeping headstones. Over the years, residents whose houses line 13th Street on the cemetery wall's southern boundary have recounted awakening in the dead of night to see tombstones looming in their front yards. These same eyewitnesses report walking the short distance to Mount Holly in the daylight hours, only to discover the very tombstone they saw in their yards by night sitting solidly within the cemetery. Numerous accounts of the creeping headstones by various neighbors over a period of years lend an air of credibility to this famous haunting. Other visitors peering through the locked cemetery gates at night report seeing orbs of light or forming mists hovering above the cemetery grounds. Paranormal experts have long attributed orbs of light, shadow figures, and mist-like anomalies as the manifestation of spirits. Often these orbs have appeared in photographs taken at night by visitors to the cemetery gates. While not visible in the camera frame or to the observer's eye, these mysterious orbs appear after the photo is developed and viewed. A large marked mass grave of Confederate soldiers killed in the Civil War battle for Little Rock sits within the cemetery grounds. Another commonly reported paranormal occurrence is the thundering sounds of the clattering hooves of horses pulling Confederate provision wagons racing up the main avenue of Mount Holly only to disappear and grow deadly silent upon reaching the western end of the cemetery. Are these ghostly sounds emanating from long-dead Confederate soldiers in a hurry to reach some destination before the Union troops descend upon the city? It seems they took their secrets to their graves.